Lancashire hot to trot pot. From Lancashire via Nigeria. So it'll be nice and traditional with a whole heap of African spices. Could be a bag of fun. I'm assuming meat's going to be spicy, which is great. So bring it on. Really? <laughs> it's comforting, it's warm, everyone's going to love it. And guess what? What? I'm going to put a side of chips, cheese and gravy on. No! Yeah? Well! That's right, because that's what you'd have. Right! AJ begins by chopping onions. They're already starting to make me cry. After slicing carrots, she seals the beef. In you go, girls! I really hope that my beef isn't as chewy as Anthea's. Why? It really took me filling out. <laughs> that beef is signed, sealed and about to be delivered. Not till this evening it isn't. But for now, in goes a mixture of thyme, salt and pepper, followed by the veg. Now, the Lancashire hot pot is about 200 years old, loved by the cotton mill workers who would be out all day working in the cotton mills and come home and tuck into a nice bit of Lancashire hot pot. Oh, have a whiff of that. <laughs> Just, I mean... <gasps> That's what I call Lancashire in a pot. <laughs> I'm going to leave that cooking throughout the rest of the day, and when it's ready to serve, it's going to taste like a blackburn explosion in your mouth. What does that taste like? Nice. Right. She'll top with potatoes this evening. <laughs> ah, it's hot. <laughs> After topping with sliced spuds, the hot pot goes in to bake while she knocks up some chips and gravy. This is just... A little bit of gravy. Everything's ready. Look at that. Get it on the table then. That's proper that. Here it is, Lancashire hot to trot pot. Ooh, and a sprig of parsley. Wow, <laughs> okay. This is basically the meal that you have before a night out or after a night out. You know those family meals you have when like everyone's passing the plates. This is what it feels like to me. Marcel was the one to watch tonight. I thought that he'd be poking errors at my food left, right and centre, but he's been really positive. I've had a scouse before. It was all right, wasn't really banging. But this hot pot, it tasted, it tasted good. I haven't had a hot pot since I was like 12. So that brought back loads of memories for me and my family in Manchester. It's actually traditionally cooked with lamb, yeah. but my mum always made it with beef. Another course, another backstory. You can't just save food. You've got to sell food. You've got to commit to it. You've got to bring it to life. I think I'm doing it. It reminded me of home, most definitely, before my mum and dad became vegetarians. Ah. It's really good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Lancashire should be very proud of AJ's effort because it was really nice. With the food hitting the spot, Marcel's talking celebrity perks. What is the strangest thing you've ever received from one of your fans? A handwritten letter with a love song recorded onto a CD. Wow. wow. It's a lot of effort. What was the title of the song? It was called Be Mine. Are you dating? No. I was uh, presenting the National Lottery from Luton Airport. The Lord Mayor of Luton was there. And he presented me an ornament of the Luton Control Tower. Wow. And it was just one of those moments where you look at it and you think, where do you think I'm going to put this? Um. You think she's going to say something exciting and she goes, a model of a tower. <laughs> All right, good, good story, Anthea. Cool story. <laughs> she says she didn't like it, but then she's remembering it to this day. So who knows, maybe she has a little collection in her house of like all the little ornaments that she's been given. I got an engagement ring from one of my fans. Excuse what? me? They presented me with it, and you got to think, like, what's the, the, the most awkward situation you could ever be in? Like, someone gives you something, you open it, and you're like, and they're like, will you marry me? And you're like, no. No. I probably ruined that little girl's life. How would you the want to get proposed to? I'm the sort of woman who would like to be proposed to in a private place, but it also needs to be in a public enough space so that I can turn around <laughs> and go, yeah. I, um, I just feel like... It's a bit cringy. I'm sorry, but if I see someone getting down on one knee, I literally want to run 100 metres. Sometimes they're, like, tying their shoelaces, but you just never know. What would your dream proposal be? I might do it outdoors in a beautiful setting. On a crossroads? Do you know what that? That's a bit cliche, you know what I'm saying? I don't but, think um, so. You have to text her and meet have... me at the crossroads. No, that, see you there. that is definitely not happening. Even Amelia has jumped on the teasing Marcel bandwagon.
He can't escape the crossroads. I released Crossroads when I was 16 years old. I'm 33 now. I'm not even going to try and do the maths. I feel like it's like... Go on, have a go. Come on, it's 33 minus 16 equals... 3 minus 6, you can't do, carry 1. A, a certain amount of years. You're 17. 